chat's on. Chat's been really quiet this this watch. It's a Sunday. It's Sunday. What are they doing? Something better than sitting and watching us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> West Maybe Coast is probably uh, running from the storm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Did their storm at least get a good name? It's Hillary, isn't it? Mm. No one was really afraid of Greg. Greg, <laughs> yeah. It's not the most intimidating name for a storm. No, it's not. So, for those of you that just tuned in, we're at about 2,000 meters deep. Same, same, same. We started this dive at like, I think 2,300 meters ish. Um, and we climbed to the top of this guillot that's in the northwestern region of Johnson Atoll. And we've just been looking for the typical biodiversity and geological formations. Sampled some squats, sampled some rocks, a mushroom coral. I don't know what else we sampled. A, sp a sponge. A sponge that mm -hmm. was uh, interesting, a sponge dish like shape. Gauge check finish? Yeah, it's satellite All shaped right. sponge. Did we get an ID on that sponge? Yeah, uh, the family is Uretida. Uh, and the genus is unknown for the moment. Cool. Ooh, we have a chatter that's been working with clay, so they can't type into the chat. That's cool. We caught some Edna, too. Oh, yeah, we caught some Edna, E-D-N-A, environmental DNA. Yeah. Educational DNA. <laughs> Effervescent. Exciting DNA. Also, yeah, a good one. Also, that. Enigmatic. Exceptional DNA. Empty. Empty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional DNA. <laughs> That's not a good one. <laughs> it's very funny. Everyone's DNA. Uh, Deck Frog has a toothpick in his mouth or something today. I don't even see its mouth. Deck Frog looks kind of sad. Oh, it is kind of sad. Bungee debris here and there. Uh, this could be a something sipenish. Sorry, I was muted. Can you uh, tell me again? Oh, the thing on the right there. Yeah. <laughs> Chat said effervescent DNA. These guys talking about DNA like it's sparkling water. <laughs> the sparkle is in the eye of the beholder. Can um, we have a uh, zoom on this, please? Is this the one you wanted to look at? Yeah, it's a... Uh, Ichabod. Dead <laughs> stock. A sponge. Thank you. All right, thanks. Um, Paula, a first-time watcher wants to know what we do with the samples. What do we do with the samples? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, for the biological samples, we um, 
process them uh, in the wet lab after, after recovering the ROV. Uh, we fix them according to the scientist request. Some of them are fixed in ethanol 95% to preserve well the DNA. Some others are preserved in formalin for morphological analysis. Sometimes we have requested on um, fixing part of the specimen in ethanol and part of the specimen in formalin so researchers can study both, both uh, DNA and morphology. Also, uh, the D eDNA needs to be processed and uh, the scientists are using filters to get the DNA that is suspended in the water. And we do pictures and measures and descriptions and then all the material is going to be deposited or most of them at the MCC Harvard University uh, in the collection. So everyone who is interested in this material that is not specifically requested can, can have access and study these interesting specimens. We cut the rocks open. <laughs> Maybe we'll cut a slab to take home with us. Any more rock samples before we go? No, we're good. And then we'll uh, curate them and then send them off to the uh, Marine Geology Samples Labs back in Rhode Island. Let's end on this Holothurian. Where people uh, have access to them. Yeah. And um, usually we have the wet lab in the one of the views, on one of the channels after the dive is over. You can watch everybody kind of just like running around each other. Can we zoom in on this cuke, please? It looks like organized chaos down there sometimes when yeah. they get their stuff done. Sometimes I'll go and watch, and it's just like me running around the room trying to avoid it, get out of everybody's <laughs> way. <laughs> like a matador. Yeah. It's amazing when the ROV like comes back on deck and we secure everything and all the scientists just swarm the <laughs> ROV with like buckets and like forceps and yeah. gloves and it's whatnot. Good, good thing we don't use stream us uh, uh, using like the Like zombies going for brains. Especially with right. the biological Thank samples, you. we need to get them in the fridge as soon as possible because they're used to cold water, so we don't want the water to warm up too quickly. I gotta take my turn that's, out now. That's what causes gotcha. most of the swarming and excitement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just put the rocks on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> the special you, shelf. You put them in containers. So for the rocks, we usually uh, uh, revise all of them because sometimes they have small uh, biological samples associated, like mm -hmm. the small of heroids and small uh, young corals colonies. Sometimes a squat luster, sometimes a small so polychaetes. This is to be our last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, one chat thought we released the squat lobsters after taking <laughs> photos and measurements. Taking my no, they no. get um, preserved for a really long time, uh, right? Yeah, they get preserved and they, they're going to be uh, for long storage at the museum. Oh, so you have some lobsters. And there. they are probably new species, so that's why we collect them. Where are you going? <laughs> How long can they last in the ethanol? If you take care of the samples and... Um, curate the, the specimen and change uh, ethanol oh, periodically. Can park it there. We have sample from Roger. the Are going to do a little reset for the Ooh. auto heading here? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, actually, there's a museum in Philadelphia called the Wagner yeah. Free Institute of Science. Up? That's free. Uh, sure. Um, and it's a Roger. museum with with all these specimens that's preserved from like the 1900s. So like the museum is set up in the same exact way you would go to a museum in the wow. 1900s. And they have thousands of specimens of various kinds, like rocks, minerals, bugs, that taxidermy. Looks like an, an eruption shells. site there. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we have rocks from like uh, the Precambrian, 3.5 mil billion years old, or something like that. So I mean, can't rocks they were aren't that back hard then. to preserve. <laughs> <laughs> Where fossils are really delicate, right? Some can be. Ten twelve. Goodbye, bottom. 
Oh, is there a limit to the samples, like a size and a weight limit? Like how big of a sample? Well, take? if it can't fit in the bio box? <laughs> yeah, but also and this is a um, <laughs> marine monument, so we have a limit on the number of samples we collect. And also we have uh, to take into consideration a species protected. Mm -hmm. And yeah, basically <laughs> the size is what more I can say. So we are encouraged to collect samples uh, of those specimens that are abundant and take a snip instead of the whole colony or the whole sponge, things like that. Yeah. How well do you think sponges recover from snipping or slurping or taking chunks out? Yeah. I don't know. So the r rate of growing of a sponge is similar of a coral. Like okay. Throw a few uh, millimeters, a few centimeters a year, sometimes less. All right, uh, leaving bottom. Goodbye, bottom. Chad asks, what do we throw off the boat? We, I don't think we don't, we don't throw anything off the boat. Throw the ROVs off the boat. Oh, yeah, word. What uh, speed are we going? Yes, Sometimes we throw uh, uh, find out. Yeah, what's left, the water that's okay. left in sample jars Roger. off sample the edge of the water. boat when Thank we're you. in the wet lab, because sediment can't go down our wet lab sink, it'll clog it. <gasps> it'll clog the sink. No sand down the drain. Sand back in ocean. Where it will float down to the bottom. So in the deep sea, the average growth, growth rate of a sponge uh, measured up uh, from, the, from three years long, it was around two centimeter year. So, I mean, they will recover from getting snipped. Yeah. All right, Rob, I'm expecting some good blue water sites. And if I, we don't see any, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Rob left the room already? I can't believe he's gone. <laughs> Just leaving us here. <laughs> I'd never leave you. Ooh, rain snow. Oh. Ooh, rain snow. Wow. <laughs> no, the marine snow won't save you from this. Ooh, rain snow. I want to see something. You may have to wait a bit. I know when they did the first dive down, they saw like a bunch of jellyfish, like various different types, and a couple giant conifers. I don't know what they saw the second time going down. Oop, claw. Bye bye, wait. Oh. No. Uh, oh my! Did you see it fly down to the porch oh. cam? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my it's God, still it's, going. It's out of control. <laughs> oh. Did anyone get to see it flutter? I like how all the cl the keyboards we have in the control van are the clickiest keyboards. Except for the this one. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, because I never use it. Well, at least you don't use it. I'm, I'm not a fan of those keyboards. The clicky clackies? No. Why not? Why? I just don't like the, the feel. <gasps> you can get different feeling clicky keyboards. Wow. You'll have to ask Tim one time. You can get the one that f meets your needs perfectly. I love the clicky keyboards. In fact, they can even be clickier. I mean, not too clicky. Sometimes they like exclude people, and that's really not very nice of them. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Takes a minute to sink in. Cool. <laughs> Said bias goes up forever. Oh. <laughs> Neat. Who knew? <laughs> Learning. I think we should somehow set up a uh, deck frog emoticon sorts of things. Do you have an uh, auto heading on? Uh, what would that look yeah. Like? Do you want me to turn that off? Deck frog yeah, smile. Please. Deck frog. Do you want me to secure the thrusters? Frown. Sure. Nice. Deck frog is frowning right now. I think it just has a toothpick. He's thoughtful. Has toothpick in his mouth, just thinking. Deck frog wouldn't smoke, so it couldn't be that. No. 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 I mean. I mean. The problem is, uh, you know, I mean, cats may have nine lives, but frogs croak every day. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Madison just messaged me. I'm dead. Oh, my God, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hit the button, please? Yeah. Thanks. I'll, I'll be asking questions to facilitate conversations in a minute. I have to update the update. Update the update. Update the update. Do you hear that? Type it, type, type, click, clack, tip, type. I feel like I type more aggressively when I have these clicky keyboards. If anyone wants to say anything interesting, um, go ahead. <laughs> it's way too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> What was everybody's biggest change or hardest adaptation to life on the ship? The hard mattress. Oh, oh you got a squishy one at home? Um, yes. Well, yeah, we, I do. I just real I like really soft beds. <coughs> I would say the lack of alone time. Mm. Gotta go find a quiet corner in the ship somewhere. 
Go to the Nemo Lounge. Sometimes there's people in there as well. <laughs> yeah, that was the same for me. You go in there and it's like, oh, here's all the other people who want to be alone. But you know, there's a kind of an unspoken rule is like, you just stay quiet. Then. You don't talk to people. It's like a library, you know? You mm. like, look at someone, make eye contact, give them a nod, and then ignore each other. <laughs> Paul is laughing at my, my introversion. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> I actually got up out of the room when Martina came in for her afternoon coffee because I know she likes to have her little private space over there. <laughs> I was trying to film something where I had to like talk to myself and Rob was sitting in the back and I just couldn't bring myself to talk to myself on camera with Rob sitting back there. I was making faces. You didn't see it. <laughs> Thank you. The bunny ears. <laughs> I never ended up filming it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't think um, they want it anymore anyway. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, a family or uh, no not a family a household of ace ha eight housemates watches our streams they say pretty much 24 7 and they've made bingo cards nice. bingo cards oh yeah you've got to know more about that what's on there they they're asking us actually they say the question what words or phrases do you think we've put on them hint all versions of what about that rock and do we have time to grab that rock and, oh, look at that rock, <laughs> are the free spaces. Another that appears on all cards somewhere is, uh, yeah, those lights are lasers. And we use them to take accurate <laughs> measurements. They're 10 centimeters, which is about four inches apart. What else do you think could be on there? Poitrioidal. Bridge nav. <laughs> Bridge nav. Salvo. Zoom in, please. Yeah. Go for zoom. <laughs> bubble on craft. <laughs> yeah, bubble on craft. Skate check. <laughs> That's a nice sheet flow. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Squishy. 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 Or just, Fish? Or just the, the generic, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How about chat said? Chat said. Or chat fact. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> Great view from the cinema cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, sample number is. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> Stream. <laughs> Doppler reset. Yeah. Squat lobster. <laughs> I gotta Just go. Squat in general. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I feel like, you know, we could just do a soundboard. We, sh we should, really. <laughs> just not say a single word during the entire dive. <laughs> and it's all the soundboard. <laughs> and it's just all the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect. OK. Um, I'm, I'm a little behind on the chat, so we're, we're filtering through these. Uh, someone saw one of the data loggers draining water, <gasps> straining water, which I assume the water from the eDNA samples. So the water of the eDNA samples gone to the drain, question mark? They can go to the drain because they don't contain sediment. Oh, so what, how do you pluck the DNA from it if you're putting it down the drain? No, we're not putting it down the drain. <laughs> we're putting some of it into the drain and some of it into um, bags, world yep. pack bags. They, they for, filter it too. Yeah. Little DNA filters? A sterilized filters for mm. the DNA. They should be sterilized and they cannot be reused. Um, another question is, why is the oxygen saturation going down now that you're rising to the surface? Oxygen exchanges is at the surface of the water with the air, right? We're approaching the oxygen minimum zone, which occurs around 500 meter depth. 
So it why dips and then it comes back up. How does that make... Why? Why? <laughs> why? That's a good question. Rob usually explains it. Yeah, I mean, well, the, the deeper water has uh, more oxygen because that water is infecting or coming in from elsewhere where it's a little more oxygen rich. And you have oxygen at the surface, it's high because of the phytoplankton creating the oxygen. But as the phytoplankton, the zooplankton die, they sink and they go from uh, being photosynthesis to respiring. And the respiring of the decay actually chews up the oxygen. It takes in the oxygen, uses it up. And that's why we have the oxygen minimum zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's production at the surface of oxygen, consumption of oxygen deep. And then the, the way deep is water coming in from elsewhere. And how does that oxygen water rich. get oxygenated? Because it, it was the surface at one time, so maybe oh. Antarctic bottom water, North Atlantic, deep, you know, North Pacific deep water here. I see. So it's it's a colder, more dense water at the higher latitudes. It's coming into this region, a part of the global circulation pattern. Cool. Uh, another question: Do you ever see big fish, sharks, or whales in the sonar returns? in your blue water travels, even if you don't see them on the cam? Or would they not be recognizable? Good question. On the sonars we have, if we're in a bait ball, like a lot of school of fish, we'll get a lot of noise back. And it's you can see that something is there. And when you see it in the camera, you'll know what it is. But it's hard to tell otherwise. However, I have used other sonar systems on, actually on this vehicle, I think and other vehicles that you can see the shape of fish if they're big enough in the sonar because they're super high resolution. Really weird to see that, but it, yeah, it, it's possible. We haven't seen aqua squats that way either. For some way he can just make the sounds bend around him. Yeah, yeah. Or, or. I would expect no less from aqua yeah. squatch. It's like the land one, how it's, it's blurry. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this isn't a question, but I really wanted to share it. Chat said, squishy McSquish face. Mm. Oh. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Thank oh. you, Internet. <laughs> um. Someone wrote in the chat, hi, deep sea explorers. I was wondering when you're docked, is it ever possible to tour the ship and see the ROVs up close? It would be a great to tour where y'all work. So we don't do that, but on our um, website, if you go to the search bar, I'm sure you can find it without the search bar, but in the search bar, if you type virtual field trip, there is like a virtual interactive, like walking tour of the ship so you click on the points and then you know if you think of like google earth where you drag the little man down at the streets um it's like that so you can kind of like tour it yourself and the just type in let me double check if this works one sec i think it's virtual field trip it's called Okay, it doesn't work if you type that in, but I will find out what you have to type in to see the virtual field trip. So hold on that, hold on chatter, I'll tell you. Chatter. Okay, it's called Virtual Field Trip to Exploration Vessel Nautilus. It's an activity or a mini lesson under education.
do we want to circle back around to that earlier question of like what was the most difficult thing to get used to for life aboard yeah sure. seasickness yeah the first week yeah I have no problem adjusting. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is perfect. Even though I'm maladjusted at some level, but. <laughs> no worse than normal. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, they do say that are people this way because they go to sea or do they get this way because they go to sea? What? I, th I know what you meant, but I think you screwed that up. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, say it correctly then. Do people get this way because they go to sea? Or do they go to the sea because they're already this way? Yeah, that's it. I don't even know what he originally said. <laughs> it had some of those words. <laughs> <laughs> it was, do people go to sea because they are this way? Or do people go to sea because they get this way? <laughs> <laughs> Roll the tape. <laughs> Um, also, like, it's really good to be drinking a lot of water, but I find myself wanting things other than water, you know? Tea? Like, getting, like I don't know. There's People have been tea. mentioning Sprite recently, <laughs> and now I really want a Sprite. I mean, we can bring our own snacks and stuff, but you don't really... You're sitting in the grocery store, and you're, like, overwhelmed with the amount of stuff, and you don't pick up the stuff that you actually want, you and know? How do you sit in a grocery store and say, like, what am I going to crave three and a half years from now? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, <laughs> it's really hard. Deck Frog is now... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Deck Frog. I love that sentence was open-ended. <laughs> I'm not told a story. I mean... At least for me, the silver lining of the seasickness thing is that it, it, it went away. Yeah. For me, it went away after like a couple days and then it came back, but then it went away again. Was that the big swell from Dora, you think, that mm, brought it back? Probably, yeah, because once we started like super duper transiting again. Super duper. You don't get seasick, Rob? Ever and ever? Nope. Me neither. What about on your guys' like first boat <laughs> times? Nah, I've, I've always, I've never had motion sickness. Uh, roller coasters, I love them. Uh, small planes, helicopters. Um, yeah, I mean, I've done all kinds of things. Smaller boats. Um, never had a problem. I, I felt a little queasy one time when I was in a fishing boat. It was probably, I don't know, 30 feet long, and the waves were much more than that. Yeah. It's like no horizon. <laughs> you're like rocking and rolling like crazy. And I was uh, probably half the people on board threw up. So huh. I was, I didn't, but I was definitely feeling a, a little bit. Huh. Aside from that, just one time on a big ship have I felt bad. So very lucky. So how are we all going to feel when we get back to land, do you think? Ooh, Doc, Doc Rock. Rock. <laughs> Doc Rock. <laughs> the same you thing in reverse. You won't be able to walk a straight line. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's not because, well, okay, that's a whole different story. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, to go back to that ship tour question, too, you could also sign up for a ship-to-shore interaction um, where you could, you know, talk to some of the science communication fellows and the scientists or someone, whoever we decide to drag on to the ship to shore interaction. Oh, you can talk drag. to us live and I we think, could give you a little video tour as well. I think a, uh, an interaction with the uh, housemates that are making the bingo cards. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Bingo card dudes or fellas or ladies or whatever. Yeah, um, I, think, uh, I think that might be. Sign up for an interaction. Might be an interesting group. If you just go to the education tab on nautiluslive.org, there in like the middle of those three rectangles, um, you'll see the interaction sign up thing. And you could do it any time of day you want. So if you want us to wake up at 3 a.m., we will wake up at 3 a.m. for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately, I booked the entire rest of the cruise. For the 3 a.m. slot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not Rob, but. And, and really, we want to know, is it bingo or is it really just a drinking game? Okay. <laughs> it's it's Batriero like two shots, you know. 
We have questions. Someone in the chat said, I think there should be a box on the bingo card that says Trevor repeats a word someone else said. <laughs> wow. Well, Roger. I do that, yeah. Usually when I say to zoom in on something, I pick the most absurd thing that someone described it as in the last 15 seconds and <laughs> yeah. choose that word. So. I, I repeat words too, actually. I believe it was uh, earlier it was uh, zoom in on the mouth. <laughs> uh, zoom in on the nothing. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good teamwork because I can describe something in a really ridiculous way and then Trevor can say to zoom in on it. <laughs> I mean, historically, I think most of the ROV and HOV pilots kind of know what science wants anyway, and they kind of know what it is before they do. So yeah, it's I always a nice idea. benefit to have that do experience to, to lead us along. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, part of the job <laughs> requirement is to mildly read minds. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly just zoom on, in on things that I want to look at, and that happens to often be things that the scientists want to look at, so that's yeah. very convenient. It's easy for you when there's not much to look at. That's true, yeah. Ooh. Thingy. 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 Siphonophore. They said they mean that with all the love for Trevor. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, it's 3 a.m. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 3 a.m. somewhere with a winky face. They added a winky face. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Take about 20% off there. We have about a week to go before we start sailing back to, mm -hmm. to port. And uh, what's everybody going to miss the most? About the boat? About anything, about the whole experience. What are you going to miss? All of you guys. Everything. <laughs> yes. The watch. Yeah, I'd say miss the most the people. <laughs> so the hardest thing to adjust to the people, miss the most the people. <laughs> Take that as you will. <laughs> I'll do a core dump of everything. Erase it. <laughs> Put a big magnet to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better to erase the memories than to live with them? <laughs> well, a few weeks from now, it'll all have blurred together into <laughs> something else. And, you know, I... What do you the, mean? The other day, Rob said to me, when we're off the ship, you'll never see me. You'll never like hear or see from me again or something like that. <laughs> I said that. that. <laughs> you said something along those lines. Wow. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Something like, it wasn't exactly like that. No, no, I said, I'll see you, but you won't see me. <laughs> no, I, something like that, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's, it's like, something like, oh, I'll be back to being a stranger or something. I don't know. It was something along the lines of goodbye forever. Goodbye forever. We were, you know, you said talk to, like to Steve, maybe. And, uh, and Steve will say, so remember on NA-131 when we got those samples and then we had so-and-so on the ship and that kind of stuff? And I go, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what number is this one? 153? 153, mm -hmm. yeah. Look at yep. you go. We did it. Yeah, see? Good. What day is it? August Sunday. 47th. <laughs> <laughs> It is. We get ice cream today. It's Sunday. Sunday August oh, 20th. ice cream day. Oh, is yeah. it Sunday? Sunday it's fun Sunday. day. Oh, good, better not gravy. be mint chocolate. <laughs> it better be <laughs> mint chocolate. Ooh, mint chocolate. Oh. The ice cream debate rages on. Rages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd like to see some mint chocolate out there. It'd be nice to have something that I, I can uh, throw in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the seasick thing? <laughs> <laughs> that may set it off. What else are you going to miss? Mm, not, the croissant. Ha not having to cook. Yeah. 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 I love to cook. I go crazy when I'm out here and I can't cook. You thought about bringing one of those little portable barbecues? No. That would be I, silly. That would be, <laughs> yes, it would be, but why not? I, I love to cook, but I don't like, like, I don't like how much time it takes to cook. So, like, having that time in my day 
where I don't have to cook is nice. Wow. Like, I feel like the days I can get so much more done in, on this type of schedule than back Yeah, home. cooking a fantastic meal, like, two, three times a week would be great. That'd be all right. But you have to do it, like, two, three times a day, yeah. seven days a week. You gotta <laughs> eat. Yeah, uh, sometimes I have a crisis when I think about that I have to figure out what to eat every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Yeah. I, I do like cookie and cake 32. Yeah. <laughs> what? The cookies At are three o'clock. The cookie and cake. Oh yeah, yeah. The the, the little coffee break dessert. snacks. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. And they are so good. The chocolate chip cookies are like off the walls here. They're so good. Yeah. yeah. I think they ran out. It must have ran out. No. Yeah, I think so. I'd yeah. like to see what uh. oatmeal raisin tastes like. Yeah. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> Gotta visualize it. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Any birthday cakes on this expedition? Yeah, it was Paula's birthday in the My beginning. Birthday, yeah. And we had an like an extravagant cake for it. I I was trying to be quiet, but <laughs> you were out of <laughs> They know. <laughs> they know everything. <laughs> and it was very nice. On NA one two nine we had a week where there were five birthdays in one week. Wow. And there were five cakes that week. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. a lot. Were they all like the same looking or? No, they were all different flavors. Oh, there was cool. like a fruit one. There was one that was more chocolatey. Was there a Skittles one? Yes, there was a yeah, Skittles one. Skittles, yeah. Skittles yeah. Nice. one? Yeah. yeah. What? Does Not anyone a have a birthday in the upcoming week? I want a Skittles cake. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> well, that's what happens when the Robinson Quintet sale. <laughs> <laughs> Robinson Quintet. <laughs> Who are they? Just five people that are related to sale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to miss, like, sleeping in my little bunk. It is a nice little nest. It's so comfy. And, like, With the curtain? You, you mean yeah. the chaise lounge? I was going to say, you know, <laughs> okay, well. the time you're sleeping in the lounge. In the lounge, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't miss the dive. And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> And then two hours have gone by, and I don't know where I am. <laughs> and, the, and the puzzles. Ooh, the puzzles. You can buy the puzzles if you want for like $100 or something. Whoa. They're Whoa. expensive. I mean, they're nice puzzles. They're very nice puzzles. Bacon for breakfast every morning. Oh. oh. Yeah. I mean, you can make yourself bacon Which for is, breakfast every morning. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I thought you loved cooking. I love cooking. Okay, wait. How do you cook your bacon? Because I think the best way to cook bacon is in the oven. Absolutely in the oven. Okay, good. Really? Yep. Yeah. Hot yep. tape. On a, on a cookie, cookie, on a cookie sheet, sheet with some sheet. parchment paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to try mm -hmm. it out. Yep, that's what they do here. Yep. Here's they another, another yep. food debate. Uh, crisp or soggy? Crisp. 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 Well, it depends. <gasps> half and half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like when like, the, yeah. the bit Not of fat crispy. is still a little like chewy. Yeah. But I like when the rest is crunchy. Mm. I want the, if you hold one in, the rest of it sticks out straight like a diving board. Yeah, that's true. There you go. <laughs> yeah, as hard as possible. <laughs> well, no, as soft as possible while still maintaining its shape. Okay. I don't want it to be burnt, you know, that's a, it's too much. Do you guys like turkey bacon? I do. It's all right. Sometimes in a pinch. Yeah. It's good for sandwiches. I love turkey bacon sometimes. Real question, what is Canadian bacon? Back, back bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon from Canada. Okay. Taken from the back of the pig. <laughs> Thick slices. It's like in between American bacon and ham. Yeah, it's got sometimes, uh, ham. sometimes like cornmeal around the outside. Pea bacon, pea meal bacon. As pea opposed meal to normal bacon, bacon being from the pork belly. Yeah. I believe. I wonder if did they call it Canadian bacon anywhere else in the world aside from the states. Like, what do they call it in the UK? Do they call it back bacon? bacon there? Do you guys call it Canadian bacon? No, we no. We call it. They call ours American bacon. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no, it's bacon and back bacon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's good. It's really good on sandwiches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paula's looking up back bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
When I used to work at the Whole Foods in the, the meat department, we used to get shipped in like whole half of pigs with like the skin and everything. And we used to have to cut them up. So you were a butcher? So I, I got to cut um, sometimes, but when I like went to apply for the butcher training position, they denied me, so. Oh. Uh, yeah. So what is your favorite food, your favorite dishes? Meat. General. General food? Yeah, the, the Out of all the foods? I don't know, sandwiches? My Sushi. favorite cut of meat is a um, flat iron steak. Anyone else want to chime in? I really <laughs> like lamb chops. Those are my number one. Oh, yeah, yeah. A well-cooked lamb chop is incredible. Also, a Thanksgiving ham, maple glaze or honey glaze. Do you guys have but Thanksgiving in Canada? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there's Thanksgiving and then there's American Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Our Thanksgiving is two. in October. Yeah, yeah we have uh, Thanksgiving. It's, it's a harvest festival, so we do it during the harvest. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's normally during Columbus or Indigenous Day oh. in America. <laughs> I like how shocked you were when I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> because it is shocking. We do have Thanksgiving. And I like our Thanksgiving more because your Thanksgiving is near my ba my birthday, and that makes me a Thanksgiving baby. I don't really <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, chatter from the UK says yes, we do have back bacon here. Yeah. So, so how do you feel about it? How do you, the UK person? How do you feel about Americans calling it Canadian bacon when it's not necessarily Canadian? Oh, we're bringing chat into it now. Oh, I'm bringing chat into oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, when it comes chat. to back bacon? Whoa. UK chat, <laughs> what do you think about Canadian bacon? Oh, that's <laughs> a different question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was your question? My question is, what do you think? how do you feel about Americans calling back bacon Canadian bacon, even though you have it in the UK? Uh, that was the same question as me, except you put more words in it. <laughs> no, we just sure. await their reply. In the meantime, we could get Trevor started on maple syrup. Maybe like. I don't know much to say about maple syrup. It's tasty. It's good. Good Canadian <laughs> food. Someone in the I'll chat said technically American bacon. But it has to be bacon. real. They real said technically maple. American sure. bacon is yeah. side bacon. Regular bacon everywhere else is usually a version of back bacon. I find America has a lot of holidays really close to each other at the end of the year. Like Thanksgiving, yeah. you yep. have to Black Friday. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Halloween. Black, Black is Friday Black Friday not a really a holiday? I mean, yeah, it's but, not a holiday, uh, but it's a to-do. I mean, consumerism. Like, it gets expensive. It's a to-do. <laughs> it does. I like that. But I think it's just another good excuse to, like, be distracted from work. Because in the summer, you're distracted from work because it's summer. And then at the end of the year, you're distracted from work because it's the holiday season. It's also the darkest time of year, which isn't really as much of a problem south of the 49th parallel, but yeah. it's the darkest, the longest. So you could have lots of holidays, the I guess. The sun sets at, like, what, 4 p.m. or something. That's so yeah. sad. Um, someone that's British living in Canada says Canadian bacon is poop. Ooh. 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 Well, you don't want to eat Slow your poop. roll, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I typed that. <laughs> no. no, you didn't. Does Rob have a ghost writer in the chat? <laughs> Someone said if it's from Canada, then yes. I'm getting. I'm guessing that's the UK person. They're fine with it being called Canadian bacon if it's from Canada. That would make sense, but I don't think that's what that term refers to. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, Mike from Ohio wants oh, to know Mike if the eight Ohio. bingo roommates, if there's a Reddit or Discord where they can all chat.
I mean, I don't think there's anything like Nautilus official. No, there's not, but wouldn't it be cool if the whole world played Nautilus bingo together? Aw, that would be fun. Anyone on the watch ever celebrate holidays on the ship while on the expedition? Yeah. What's, yep. a, what's a ship holiday like? Halloween. Yeah, what do you do? Dress up. Eat yep. a bunch of candy. Have a costume. Have Go some trick candy. or treating. Yeah. <laughs> knock on all the cabin doors, hoping for candy. <laughs> 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 if you're all knocking on all the cabin doors, who's answering them? I ask myself that about Halloween at home, too. People who are off watch. Trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wouldn't it be more appropriate to have like Nautilus Squid Game or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that regularly. <laughs> Nautilus, uh, Wait, gen generic Korean reality <laughs> TV show horror drama. Wow. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, there was a question that I missed, but they re-asked it. Um, a question for the video operators. One. Hold on, I have to, like, put the words together, together better. Um, will there be once more depth temperature info on the video in the future? Oh, they were talking about the captions that were happening during the... Um, yeah, so during uh, ONC, we're working for uh, that client. Uh, and we conform to their uh, parameters as far as the feeds are concerned, also what we record and how we record it, uh, that kind of stuff. They have very specific parameters for how we do that. Uh, they record their stuff on shore. They record the, the satellite streams uh, on shore. Uh, and so we do insert the, uh, the captions in the video for that. Uh, for the rest of the stuff, we don't. Uh, captions are still there, uh, and you can see that, that information uh, I don't think the YouTube video carries it through. Maybe not the web player either carries that through. The, uh, but we don't usually superimpose the, uh, the captions. We, we also record the streams uh, on shore for uh, quick highlights and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, and so we don't insert them. We also don't put the Telestrator up uh, for the same reason. Oh. Sorry. And then there's a part two. Um, is there, oh, okay. What kind of oxygen sensors, in parentheses, Clark type, membrane sensor, optical luminescence sensor, other, does Herc use? He uses an Andera Optode. That's the make and model. And without the spec sheet in front of me, I know nothing else. And I don't know what that means at all, so... No, neither do I. <coughs> Wait, is it... I think we got more clarification from the bingo people. Uh-oh. But it's like a novel. They wrote like a novel in the chat. Mm -hmm. So let oh, me yeah. read through it. <laughs> Oh, they said Slurp is on the bingo list. Good one, <laughs> yeah. Want to get another rock sample? <coughs> Can we poke that rock? What about that rock? <laughs> that one looks good. This just sounds like a conversation. I don't know. <laughs> Bridge nav switch to 10 meter steps. We have some rocks we want to collect. <laughs> oh, so they're doing this for other shifts too. Science like says we don't need any more rocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but can we move Herc a little to the left? That's one of the bingo card things? Okay, but we need to move Herc a little to the left? Yeah, something? I guess. Huh. Funny. It's, it's oddly so specific. specific. Yeah, it's very specific. Bring yeah. the camera full wide. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> now that's a rock. 
<laughs> that was a slow build. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Science says they need more rocks. Oh. <laughs> is, just, is this just like the specific rock bingo? Yeah, it's a very rock. I think there's center. eggs of some kind on this rock. Did I hear, oh, was one of them? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Let's see if we can get a couple of these rocks. <laughs> Do we have room for another rock? Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of rock talk. Rock talk. Yeah, box out please, rock going in. <laughs> Close the box. Oh, okay, just wiggle it a bit. A lot of rocks. Do, does that mean we collect a lot of rocks? Or we just use the same five dialogue options <laughs> while collecting rocks? We're all just NPCs. <laughs> hey, here's a question from Barack, eh? Hello. Uh, we've taken a bunch of samples. What, 107,000? What is it? 163 or something? Um, uh -huh. How many of those are rocks versus how many biology? I know there's sub-samples, sub but I mean like the primary one. Good question. Most of them are biology. I, I usually do the, last time I did the assessment on that, and I think it was a third geology and two-thirds biology. Okay. It's a, it's a, it was in the report. Let me see if I can plop that up. Because biology gets plumped up by those associates we find on the rocks as well. Right. And we can fit more biology on Herc. When right, collecting. right, right. Ch chat fact Canadian bacon was dubbed this because it was first imported from Toronto to New York City. Hmm. Big up Toronto. <laughs> Is that a sigh from you, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Doesn't Trevor not like Toronto? No, it's because he's not from there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, from uh, NA 141, biology accounted for 60%, geology 38%, and 2% fossils. Sampling methods were 52% grab, 21% slurp, 23% niskin. That's great three, stats. 3% three, three wow. scoop, core 1%. Oh, man. Wow. They're in a beautiful... Uh, pie chart too. Are you kidding? Oh, Whoa. I'm oh, pie. I love pie. I love pie charts. I like data. See? Data's fun. That's cool. Oh, wow. Rob's no. holding the... Oh, heck yeah. Oh, wow. Let's go. Slurp. Cool. <coughs> yeah, data analytics is, is, is it, good. Th yeah. These are what the nuggets looked like last year. Or the nodules. <laughs> see how nice and raw they are? Yeah, the ones here are... More I don't want to do any of the work. I just want to see the fancy pie charts oh, at the end. Just like the other day, they were in the stream. Are. Yeah, my research is, is focused on machine learning and stuff, so like I do a lot of this. Right. Cool. Chat asks, what's the most unusual slash surprising thing you found in a sample container? The Mr. Gelatinos oh, yeah. animal. Oh, 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 um, yeah, we, we sampled like a, a mystery, squishy, sand eating thing, um, <laughs> earlier yesterday, I think it was. Uh, there is a d debate, um, on the scientists, um, because we don't know if it is a mollusk or a tunicate. Mm hmm mm hmm Among the biologists. No. Among the rocks, the whale fall, the whale <laughs> bone, right? Mm. Or... Hey, guess what time it is. Is it gauge check time? Top of the hour. Oh. Every hour. Yippee. <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. I gotta fix my contact. Bye-bye. Good luck. It's leaking oil. Yeah. What's leaking oil? Her contact. Oh. I thought we did flag out here, not full contact. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I got it, Trevor. I got it. I guess we got all the air out of the motor comp. That's great. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we had 278 samples last time. We're about halfway there now. Yep. I don't think we'll get there with the uh, with the hurricane start of this cruise. Kind of threw us off the... Yep. We're at 139. Exactly halfway. Do you think we'll pass dive H2000 on I this hope cruise? So. Even hope if so. it's a touch and go, we will. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> Is that like Herc's birthday, kind of? I guess, yeah. I mean, not, not birth, but dive day? I don't know. <laughs> Creation? dive anniversary. dive anniversary. <laughs> dive anniversary is nice. I like that. We should have a cake for her. <laughs> yeah. We should have a cake for her. Skittles cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Herc would like Skittles cake. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> That's a great idea, actually. We could, like, grab a plate with a cake on it in the <laughs> minute, get a photo. 2,000th dive. I was 1,000th dive, actually. We have, like, a little party hat. <laughs> and the manip with a fork. Yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would love to do that. I'm back. Yeah, so the dive numbers started at 1,000. I think they actually started after Herc had done a bunch of dives, so, but we're not going to think too hard about that. But 1,000 dives, coming up on 1,000 dives, that's a lot of dives. Is there any original part? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't around for the start, so I don't actually know what... Uh, what was on the first build, but I would say yes. We have, there's some old photos that are kicking around and you can see some stuff that's still on there. Alrighty, gauge check complete. Roger. Wait, how many left until we have our thousandth dive? Three more. We're on. Three. Are we going to make nine, it to three? We're going to make it to three more, right? Hopefully. I sure hope so. I think we will. North. I believe. We're staying in this, like, northwestern region, right, Rob? Uh, actually, we're going to scoot a little bit to the southeast. Closer to the atoll? Yep. North. And then we're hoping to hit the atoll. Ooh. Really? Yep. But not well, too hard. Close, yeah. <laughs> close by. Mm -hmm. And then we'll work our way back to the north or northeast, closer to Hawaii to finish up. Steph, we decided while you were gone that for the 2000th the dive, dive, dive 2000, mm -hmm. we would request a Skittles cake. Oh, yeah, someone in the chat just put, someone should get her cake. Can you speed cake. up, please? We should. Roger. Do you yeah. think they have Skittles? I don't know. We have apples, though, for an apple pie. Mm. 
I was just about to say, Maranke, apples are not the same as Skittles. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For any of you wondering, my contact was inside out. Mm. It was a fun time. How did that happen? There's two ways, like, obviously you could flip it back and forth, right? And it's inside out, like, if you look at it, um, it'll, like, kind of bow outwards. Mm. Oh, um, it's so like flare. Yeah, like it'll flare outwards. But so I did put it, it in. Oh, you put it in backwards. Yeah. So say, how does it flip when it's already installed? Sometimes, <laughs> installed. <laughs> Like Sometimes, that. like, it does, like, move around weird. Like, it, it will fold on and on itself in my eye if it's not, like, juicy you enough are, in there. Uh, soft contacts? Yeah. What's it like to see people that can see? I see a lot of glasses in here, so maybe not many of us can see. I, I, I <laughs> don't blind. take it for granted. Good. I'm very, very thankful. Yeah, Trevor, I think you're the only one in here without glasses. Yep. <laughs> Trevor, how does it feel to be like, oh, I need some PPE. Let me just grab some safety glasses. Great. Awesome. Yeah, it does. <laughs> buy cheap sunglasses off the rack. Yeah. 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 No, I don't. I buy uh, glasses with proper, like the full UV and polarized because like I want to protect my vision. There you go. Because I'm, like I said, I'm not taking it for granted. Oh boy. Always use safety glasses when using power tools, etc. Like, don't mess around with it. I bet you wear a helmet when you ride your bike, too. Oh, do I? <laughs> when you ski? Absolutely. I've, I I've, worn a hel I've not worn a helmet skiing maybe under a dozen times. I don't wow. know how people not wear helmets when skiing. Yeah, it's crazy to That's me. That's terrifying. I never wore a helmet. <gasps> wow. I've had concussions skiing with a helmet. Wow. I've had concussions skiing without a helmet. Yes. You'd think I'd learn. <laughs> And there was the over the handlebars of the motorcycle accident. No helmet on that one. I broke my oh. bicycle helmet a month ago. Wow. Are you accident prone, Trevor? No, I just send it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you all, but like there's always one kid like in elementary school that always has a concussion. Yep. Yeah. I've never had one, knock on wood. Yeah, I've never yeah, had one either, knock on table. Ooh, a squishy. I haven't squishy. had one this month. Oh. I've never broken a bone either. Same. Same, Same here. You're so not like, having fun, I'm telling you. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, is that a challenge or what? I do all sorts of things that I should have broken bones on, but I think I have very dense bones. <laughs> <laughs> do you drink a lot of milk? Maybe. <laughs> And I played flag football in high school. I collided with a girl, and her nose broke on my eye socket, but my eye socket was fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Two weeks before prom as well. Oh, oh, no. My face healed. I don't know about her nose. Sorry, wow. whoever you are out there. <laughs> Wherever you are. Wherever you are. <laughs> My brother used to wrestle, so he got a whole slew of injuries, and one time his bicep disconnected from his arm. Oof. Oh yeah, you need that connected. <laughs> yeah, like kind of coiled up. Yeah. Wow. You don't want that. That sounds terrible. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, we are making our ascent back up to the surface. We just finished oh. our... Oh. Oh? There's a little critter in... Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little critter in Atalantis Cam. It's gone now, though. Um, we're making our ascent back up. We're at about 700 meters. We dove down to, like, 2,300 meters, made our way up a slope of an unnamed guillot to about 2,000 meters, and then we came back up. Ten minutes too, yeah. Yep. <laughs> same, same. Oh, 
There's one in Atalanta. A little squiggly. A little squiggly. Oh, there it is. Someone in the chat wrote, for your topic, strange finds, we found two gummy bears swollen by osmosis to triple or so the volume in the North Sea in a benthos box grab in 30 meter depths. <laughs> cool. I believe that. That must have been near shore. Two gummy bears. <clears throat> That's probably Aqua Squatch's lunch. You think he only eats two gummy bears? Oh, he was most of the ones he dropped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think they were actually not grown three times the size? Do you think they were just that size normally? Is Aqua Squatch <laughs> big, or is Aqua Squatch? Small. Yeah. Big. Gotta be big, I'd think. I'd, I'd think, yeah. I'd think. I'm imagining Sasquatch, but with scales instead of fur. Nobody knows because you can't see them. <laughs> but Something I think like that's what I envisioned too. Like yeah. the creature from the Black Lagoon? Mm. Oh, we got a oh. jelly. Oh, a helmet wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Go back. Can we sort of sample them? <laughs> <laughs> they saw one of these on the way down, too. Yeah. Same one. Looks like Same a bottle exact pop. one. Yeah. Baby bottle pop. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think it's gone. Baby nope. bottle I'm pop. I'm gone. Never mind. <laughs> Swam away from Remember us. Remember those? Hello. Yeah, it's gone. Oop, that's the wrong button. Chat thinks maybe Aqua Squatch changes sizes. Does Aqua Squatch compress at depth? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good question. I think Aqua Squatch decompresses at depth. Oh, okay. another chills jelly. Just Atlanta. absolutely chills. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And I did look it up, and Aqua Squatch is a band. Of course really? it is. Hmm. Nice. Are you in that band? No. It's not, it's I not think it's been a self-promotion. It's out of South Carolina or North Carolina, I think. Hmm. They had some music online, but I can't stream while I'm out here. Unless it's for scientific purposes. Right. I mean, isn't listening to the Aqua Squatch music? Maybe they like know about the Aqua Squatch and they like leave hints in their lyrics. Ooh. Or maybe it's just Aqua Squatch calls. Yeah. <laughs> we put a speaker on Hercules and play it. If you guys ever see an animal in the wild, do you like try to play animal noises to it to get it to look at you? Depends what kind of animal, because there are some animals on Vancouver Island you'd rather have leave you alone <laughs> than <laughs> the cougars. <laughs> oh, one time I was hiking at this place called Fort Rock, which is in uh, the high desert in Oregon, and we were just like hiking around, and in the sand we saw a paw print like as big as our hands that was clearly like a mountain lion. Yeah. Um, and we were like, all right, hike over, let's go home. <laughs> There's so many near where I live, like so many. You just walk around, walk the dog in the morning and see a sign like, oh, cougar spotted today. You're like, all right, I better watch out. Yeah. Did you know that Vancouver Island has the highest per square kilometer number of cougars in the world? They sure wow. do. Wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's our home. A lot of older single women, you say it. Oh, on SPL. <laughs> Enjoys long walks on the beach. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Biting oh, my tongue jelly, now at this point. Oh. <laughs> Just not going to go there. <laughs> In Anchorage, we have urban moose. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Anchorage, Alaska. Yep. Okay. Moose come wandering through town. I take back my shock to O. And I was still thinking, like, Oregon. Uh, Florence? Yeah. No, nah, not Florence. Florence has uh, coyotes in the dunes, but you rarely see them. Mm -hmm. Black do they bears. Get, do they get elk in Florence? No. No. Elk would be in eastern Oregon and then some down in the uh, Umpqua Valley there's yeah, elk. Yeah there's a whole like elk lookout on there some is. road that connects you. Yeah. So I think like Reed's Port? Reed's Port. Yeah. Between Reed's Port and like I-5 that yeah that's the Umpqua, yeah, yeah. Umpqua yeah. Valley. Yeah. Florence has black bears they get into people's garbage. Yeah. Pennsylvania has that problem, too. Yeah. Well, surprisingly, Pennsylvania has elk, too. Yeah. Huh. I don't think there's, like, too many elk in Pennsylvania. No, though. they're not. That looks right. Hello from Medford, Oregon. I don't like it. Hello. Yeah, Medford. Hello, Medford. I don't know. If when we start tracking a line at whatever depth, can we do, can we do half a knot? Just to make up for that. Thanks. I was helping Jane think of good blue water questions, and I thought of a really good one, but then I forgot. Oh, I remember. Um, what would your, like, talent show trick be? Like, if you were in a talent show and had to do a trick of some kind. What would it be? I don't know. Does it have to be an actual talent? No. I have double jointed thumbs. You cool. want to see? Yeah, yeah, do it. Here. Uh -huh. ah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's Whoa. amazing. Yeah, apparently. Every time I do it, somebody gets freaked out. I can't no. do it. Oh wait, no. My fingers are also a little too sausagey. Trevor learned something new about himself today. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue River, Oregon. A lot of Oregonians. Is that a Canadian trade or what? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, on a cruise ship once, I joined like a scavenger hunt thing, and we had to do like a, a talent, and I could stick my tongue in my nose. What? What? I don't. Whoa. Okay. I just got a demonstration. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did that on the cruise and they were filming it and it got into like the end of the cruise highlight reel. <laughs> oh no. Good thing I'll never see those people again. <laughs> Blue water conversation is definitely the most interesting in a non-science way. <laughs> There's not much to see in blue water sometimes. It's not that squishy. Then Data Lab, are the these secure power to the Cinnamon Cam if you're able? Roger. Cinnamon Cam. Cinnamon, Cinnamon cam. is unspiced. Thank you. Does anybody else have a talent they'd like to share with the class? It can be like an actual talent or <laughs> like a, you know, a 
a tongue and nose talent. A, a physical oddity, yeah. like uh, thumbs and You know noses when people who touch their hands behind their back? Like the one, one shoulder up, one down, oh, like yeah. that? You're like, can you touch your fingers or whatever? I can touch my wrists. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I can touch my fingers. I used to be able to touch my fingers. <laughs> Mobility. I am not flexible. I can't do it the other side, though. Oh. Only right side up, left side down. What's that about? And when I say touch my wrists, I mean touch my wrists to each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just attempting the fingertips. Oh, oh we got a little jelly on the Zeus. Can't even try and do that. I've about 60% range of motion in my left shoulder, so. That would go back to the whole injury and, and the damage. And not wearing helmet. Thing. Yeah. Helmet didn't figure into that particular one, but I had three, three full dislocations of my left shoulder. Skiing, motorcycle, skiing again. Surgery. I just had to give up rock climbing. Oh, that's a shame. I had to give up skiing because I have old knees and I've had both of them scoped. Did anyone ever have to do the, I guess at least the Americans here, did you guys have to do like the presidential physical fitness tests in elementary school? I think so. We had to do the pacer. I did the pacer. That's the beep test, right? Yeah, the beep test. What's that? You, you run, run back and forth between two lines every time this thing beeps and the beep speed up. Uh, that sounds familiar. We you have see this, what like, level you can get to. Oh. Is it, what's that? Oh, so you see what level you can get to. I thought to. you said there's a secret level that you can get <laughs> oh. to. Like, what? I never got to the secret level. <laughs> we have these, like, presidential physical fitness tests that had, like, a little bit of everything. So I had running and it had, like, pull-ups and, like, flexibility. And if you, like, got to the presidential level, you got your name on the wall. Hmm. Which I, wall? the wall of the gym. Oh. Um, I remember there was like the the sitting stretch where you'd like sit and you'd put your feet on the thing and the then box, you'd like reach yeah. forward. That was the flexibility one. That was the only flexibility test? Yeah. Hmm. I never came close to getting my name on that wall. I think they might have stopped it though. Really? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's a, It seems like a crazy thing because like if I was a kid, I could barely touch my toes, but I could also put my foot behind my head. Interesting. So, like, to measure flexibility in one way is like, crazy. It just, like, isn't how it works. They had a vertical jump, like, measure how high you can jump. <coughs> um, yeah, I think that was part of it, too. Was that scaled for your height, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing was scaled for anything. <laughs> no, the tall people had an advantage on that one. They That's had the crazy. mile run. You'd run a mile and they'd count how long it took. You're less fit because you're short. Like, well, no, what? No, that's not. Push that ups, works. pull ups. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Did you do the rope climb? We never did the rope climb. I think it was deemed unsafe. <laughs> huh. The presidential physical fitness test stopped in 2012. What? Wow. wow. Because Obama couldn't do it. Because of who? Obama wasn't Obama able to do it. Oh. <laughs> Take it off. Take when did it start? That's what I'm looking up now. Yeah, which president? It's got to be like 70s or something. No, 50s. In the 50s by President bit, Dwight please? D. Eisenhower. Huh. The so original test consisted of six parts. 
pull-ups for boys or modified pull-ups or arm hangs for girls? So I guess we did that <laughs> in elementary school, it sounds like. I seem to remember. It was mostly about bragging rights for fifth grade boys. That's yeah, exactly what it that's was. That's exactly okay, what so it was. Yeah. It did pull-ups or modified pull-ups or arm hangs, sit-ups, shuttle run, standing for broad jump, 50-yard dash, softball throw for distance, and 60-yard walk run, which was, that was the original like lineup of things. Huh. Huh. 60-yard walk run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah. 600 yard. Sorry, yeah, 600 yard walk run. My bad. Can't read. Is it going to involve speed walking? Have you ever seen speed walkers where they do a little wiggle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two feet on the ground at the same time. Someone in the chat said one of those memories that should have been purged from their memory. <laughs> With the magnet? With the magnet, Rob, you need to <laughs> give them your magnet. I remember, like, I want to say it was when we did Pacer Test. There was, like, always a couple kids in the class who were asthmatic, and they are like, no, you have to do it anyway. <laughs> and then they'd be like, huh? and then they'd be like coughing up a lung. Neat. <laughs> I just wanted to play kickball and with the parachute when I was in elementary school gym. I don't want to take any tests. What about Foursquare? Okay. Played a lot of Foursquare square. in elementary school. I don't know what that is. Really? I might know if you explain it. It's like a, uh, like a like. Like a box. A big square divided into, divided into, into four, four squares. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a ball. There's a service and like square. And the yeah. server. They're yeah. They're like one, two, three, and four. You can and work then your way up. Yeah, there's a ball and then like it's sort of tennis adjacent rules, if that makes any sort sense. Sort of like, yeah. You we like try and bounce that. the ball into someone's square and then they bounce it back. No, we never played that. It was a like spike classic, ball. classic playground game. We used to have those scooters that you sit on and then you have to like wiggle yourself to get them to go forward. <laughs> we also had like a yo-yo unit in gym where we'd play with like yo-yos. Yo-yo unit? Yeah. Cool. We, we played yo, a yo, lot yo. of tetherball. Wow. Tetherball was a thing. I think we had a tetherball pole, but it never had a tetherball attached to it. Huh. Yeah, there were a lot of accidents. People got smacked in the face or like, <laughs> I think it's we had a girl fun. who broke her finger, like, trying to grab the string. We used to have this magnificent uh -huh. playground that was all wooden with, like, like suspension bridges and little tunnels you could crawl through and everything. But then the parents started complaining that kids were getting splinters, so they replaced it with this, like, metal and plastic playground that everyone was just getting burnt on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, those metal slides are brutal, or were brutal in the summer. I don't know if they're still around. Oh, what's up? Because this is a good um, recovery position, and um, the, I mean the heading. Okay, thank you. Weird. Did anybody play grounders on the playground? Oh yeah, grounders is a good one. What is that? Like. Um, Go it's ahead. like hide and seek, but being on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like when somebody yells grounders, you can't be on the ground. That's what I vaguely remember. Of yeah, it. Like there was a person trying to find you with their eyes closed, climbing around the jungle gym. And uh, if they tagged you, you were out, but they had to have their eyes closed. Bridge, you know? So you could run away and escape, but you if you were on the ground. Can you please secure the tanks and Sorry. have to take fun and enable air to talk us. And let me know when campaign is on the bridge. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you could run away in any way you wanted, but if you were on the ground and the person who was it yelled grounders, you got it's counted as being tagged. I don't think we had that game. Oh, I kind of remember that faintly. 
I remember something similar where like we were laying on the ground and we can get up and run, but I don't remember like any of the rules other than that. Chat said duck duck goose. Which is apparently called duck duck gray duck in one of the states. What? What? Don't know that one. Mississippi, I think, calls really? it duck duck gray duck. I don't remember. One of the states calls it duck duck gray duck. Is there like huh. an official like duck duck goose like Minnesota? Cannon? Minnesota. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Weird. Let's go up at 18 meters a minute, please. Roger. Oh, cup stacking was also a unit in gym. Cup yeah, I remember stacking. that. Huge, no? Like literally stacking cups? Yeah, like, it's you like know, a like sport. This? Yes, can we, 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 Speed stacking? We Speed stacking. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was a unit at our yeah, gym, thanks. too. Okay. <laughs> Cup so stacking. Have you secured the tanks? It's about uh, speed and endurance of your arms. Okay. We did a floor hockey one. Floor hockey. Floor hockey, yeah, it's like hockey, but on the floor. you don't. So you're yeah, not I, on didn't, I didn't copy that. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you. I'll slow down. Okay. You can stay at 18. Roger. We start tracking forward now. Sure. Thanks. Point five. Point. Uh, what do we end up? Yeah, sure. Sure, mm -hmm. that's fine. Bridge control. Anybody else have like a recorder unit in their elementary school music class? In fourth grade. Yep. And we'd get, um, we'd have songs that we'd get tested on. And if you like beat the song, you would get like a little colorful Bridge. yarn attached Control. to your recorder. Yeah, yeah. We get like you on the video. little stripes. Yeah. Our poor parents. Is the captain now on the bridge? Thank you. Then can we start tracking the line forward? 0 0.5 knots. Thank you. Zero point five knots. Zero point five knots. Roger. Thanks. Chat said duck duck gray duck in Minnesota. We wanted to be sensitive to the Canadian geese. Hmm. Or Canada geese, sorry. They're not called Canadian geese, they're called Canada geese. Yeah. Do they call them that in Canada? Yeah. All stations comes will now be on the radio. Yeah, that's like the name of the species. Do you think we'll see our shark friend? <gasps> I mm. hope so.
for those interested, our oxygen, min oxygen minimum was 37 micromoles per liter, and it occurred at 631 meter depth. Coolio. sneaking suspicion that it's going to be hard to get to the right uh, correct side of the ship. But that's fine. We'll figure it out. It's fine. That, that's all good. Okay. <laughs> Chat said just as long as the sharks don't think Herc is yum yum yellow. <laughs> I think Herc would have that artificial banana flavor. It's a possibility. I thought Herc would be lemon flavored. Oof. I don't know why I didn't think of lemon before I thought of artificial banana. <laughs> I like that you thought of artificial banana before real banana. Well, because nothing's ever truly banana flavor unless it has real banana in it. Mm. I'm just thinking of like the banana Laffy Taffies that don't Ooh. taste like banana. You know those are those taste like old banana. What that, spe that species of banana died out in the s 60s. I you think. You know, I did hear that fact once. Here it is again. Nice. I don't like it. No, I don't either. So artificial banana flavor tastes like a banana that we no longer have around. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't, why don't they just update the banana flavor? Who's they? <laughs> you know, they. Them. Know. The, the banana flavor updaters. Flavor controllers. Flavor controller? This is the bridge. Bananas and pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rob pulled up. Bananas and pajamas. That was a good show. What which what channel was that show on? TVO Kids. Oh. Or PBS. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever seen that one, but I did watch a fair share of PBS. Does anyone remember a show called Oogie where it was like a hand puppet with like eyes on it? And no. he had a sister named like Uma or something. I've got a search this up. Or no, it's Umi, I think. Those are words that <laughs> exist. Ubi. 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 A bare Kenubi. hand puppet. It was just a hand with googly eyes on top of it. Yeah. The eyes weren't even googly. They were stationary. <laughs> 2000 to 2005 it ran. <laughs> and like the old man hands, like the, the older hands, with, they'd have their fingers curled in to look like they were like wrinkly and didn't have teeth. Wild. What a rush. <laughs> Interesting. I think that was on PBS. Hmm. I didn't have PBS, but TVO Kids was like the version of, of what I watched on yeah. Channel 2. Yeah. Arthur was, it was because, on there as well. Was it because there was no PBS in Canada? There's PBS in I Canada. I don't know. Yeah. Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, the electric company. Well, how about Mr. Dress Up? Mr. Mr. Dress, Dress Up? What? Yeah. It's a Canadian thing. Sesame Street was amazing. I was it still never is. A fan it's still running, of Sesame isn't it? Street. Really? Yeah. 
I loved it. Other than Great. like, I liked the vampire, the count. Well, yeah, thank count, you. Count. Yeah. Thanks. He should be doing that on radio. I had nothing. Control, control. There we go. Copy you loud and play bridge. So I worked at a PBS station and uh, was responsible for putting Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers and the Electric Company on the air every day. Very cool. Twice a day. Once at noon, starting at noon, Sesame Street. Four o'clock in the afternoon, we repeated it again. That's cool. And it came in at eight o'clock in the morning and I recorded it. So I would watch those three shows three times a day. I'm a huge Mr. Rogers fan. I liked Mr. Rogers too. <laughs> Is it time to remove the stick? Sure. I think it's also time to remove the chat too, right? Bye bye chat. Bye All right, chat. I'll, I'll close out the chat. So, um, yeah, so we're completing our dive here. We're gonna be up at the, we're at about 150 meters from the surface. Uh, thank you for joining us, chat. I'm going to close you out. Goodbye. You can still hear us, though. Goodbye, chat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you. We'll see you next time, chat. <laughs> oh, good gravy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep coming up at 18, maybe 19. Roger. How many more dives do we have to go? As many as we can. <laughs> Let's see. You've got to make it to Herc's dive anniversary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How how many hours do you guys usually take to like maintenance and stuff between dives? Uh, we always budget at least four. Okay. But it's been taking longer because of transit and then mapping. So. Mm. Oh yeah, we like to budget four hours between dives. Because pre-dives alone are like two hours. Yeah, and post-dives take some time, and the scientists need their time, so. Mm. You come up at, yeah, 18 to, 18 to 20, I guess. Gonna let Panos take over at video. Roger that. Can you tell them we're coming up with no turns in the tether? The rope is clear. The rope is clear.
Cool. On schedule to be right there at uh, 10 minutes too. Perfect. See if you can time it. Little fish. I missed them. Set it up nice now. That's good. I'm going to see if you eat 50 at exact. The <laughs> Annabelle now. Oh. She got okay. 11, 11 meters in 22 seconds. Let's see. Uh, Terribly late. Oh. <laughs> Way behind schedule. <laughs> but I think Vitas is not bad. <laughs> there you go. Eleven right. seconds late. <laughs> Inexcusable. <laughs> I'll stop. Ready for handover. Yeah. Two. At five zero meters. At five zero meters, taking control here. Roger. I'm gonna tilt up and then secure it. Roger. Oh, now I can see the comps. Nice. Can you put bubble on gauges, please? Roger. All right, my camera is back. Vehicles are stretched out nicely. Oh, the fishy. Your camera is up. OK. <coughs> Let me know when you secure the mezzo. Oh. Uh, Stopped. Oh, I, I could have let you do it, I guess, but I did not. Sorry. I'm going to secure the lights. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, nothing changed. It's so bright up here.
There's Herc now. Goal. I think so. Feel that A-frame start. Not yet. Okay, now we can hold position. Bridge control. Uh, control, this is the bridge. Can we please hold position? Hold position, copy that. Thank you.
Okay, all stations, that's the recovery line. Touch to the crane, starting to recover her. <coughs> Control copies. Bridge copies. There we go. Okay, that's her capacitance. Control copies. Bridge copies. <laughs> <laughs> 